Hey, how's it going? Hope you're having a shit one. Today, we're gonna be on the hunt for a spiral staircase. Basically, we're in the Netherlands right now, and there's a city called Utrecht, and it actually has a really funky looking spiral staircase in it. And I love to shoot these things because they're just so architecturally nice to look at. Back home in Australia, we don't really have a whole bunch of them. So when you do find a good spiral staircase, especially a funky looking one, you wanna go check it out. So, I got my funky pants on. Let's go find this thing. gonna leave you here. Come on. So when we were looking for the photography location, it directed us straight to a parking garage. So we decided to park in here and then go and find it. And then only to find that it's actually just right here. So literally, how good's that? You can just park up back there and then bang, straight into the photography location. Is it sick from up here? Yeah, it's so wide. I've got to stand like this, because <laughs> if I stand like this, my feet are in the shot. Man, that's a funky pose for a funky staircase. <laughs> and what do we think? Do you think my pants are funky enough for this staircase? What do we think? I reckon they're a bit too funky. Oh! We just figured out a creative photo as well. <laughs> it's like, wait, what shutter speed's that? 125th. 120th. 120th of a second, and then you twist the camera as you're shooting. And you get this like cool blurry effect. It's like a rolling shot. <laughs> Look at that stance. <laughs> yeah. If you come to a spiral staircase, don't actually stand on the stairs themselves. There's usually like a flat bit like here, so that in your shot, the rail blocks all this flat bit, so there's only stairs in the photo. I'll show you the difference. So this is what it looks like standing on the flat bit here. You get that, the nice shot of the stairs, and then if I stand on the actual stairs, just literally up here, look how much worse the shot is. Mine the shot here as well. Yeah, I mean, you're in the shot, but it doesn't really just, matter. Just for explanation, let's have a look. Like, that's, that's the second shot, and that's the first shot. Yeah, okay, gotcha, because, okay. It's all the flat area. Yeah, the flat, it just looks like the image just stops. Yeah. Because it does, because, it, yeah, and then that, where it looks like it just keeps going. Yeah. It tricks the eye. So don't stand on the steps, stand on the flat area. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> Liam's doing the stance. <laughs> no. The fingers, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine a 14 mil here. Oh, that's what you need. Even or 12 mil. Yeah. Oh. Even wider. Even wider. Okay, let's shoot it from the bottom now. I'm definitely glad there are people out there if you're watching this and you're an architect and you're thinking about building a regular staircase, please don't, because us photographers, we wanna shoot more spiral staircases. Regular staircases just aren't the same to shoot. Actually, that's what I wanna do. I wanna take an iPhone picture with the Apple iPhone RAW, and then just see how good that will be for my shot. I mean, this is like the most ghetto way to do this, but always with your phone, it always gets smudges. Cleaning them is like, Actually, the most important part, otherwise you're just not going to get a sharp shot on your phone. This is a new iPhone 13 Pro, and it just takes the most ridiculous photos, especially when you can shoot in the RAW mode. For a phone as well, it's actually kind of annoying how good these things are compared to sometimes a photography camera, especially if you've got enough lighting and stuff. I'm interested to see, this is like, Still the wide angle. In the details already, I can see like quite a bit of noise, but we'll see what we can do with an edit. Mm. But I just want to get that shot again from the top, and then we're good. Well, now I've got to do your stance as well. Yeah, the wide stance. <laughs> Sorry, don't mind me. Just taking a picture. Excellent. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I think I got it. <laughs> I wasn't even concentrating. Yeah, fucking good. <laughs> yeah, so Liam just had a really good idea because we're about to leave. We'll get the R8, chuck it right here. And then in Photoshop, take the right side of the image, which would be like this big red wall here, and then also flip that later onto the other side to get like a really nice symmetrical shot. And then the car in the middle. I'll go get it. Oh yeah, dude, this is gonna look fucking tough as. Yeah, yeah I hate that front number plate though. Really? Needs to go, yeah. Uh, I wish it was either a black number plate or it just wasn't there at all. So yeah. I'll probably just try and Photoshop it away. Yeah, simple shot. Really quick, easy shot just before we left. So let's go back into Photoshop and Lightroom and see what we got. Ah, uh, help. I'm inside Photoshop. Oh, no. No, I'm just kidding. Now I'm back in the corner over here. <laughs> That was stupid. This picture here, really simple to do. We're gonna unlock our layer, Command J, make it a separate layer. And then I'm gonna come here with my marquee tool. This is a better thing to do once you've edited your photo. So Liam actually shot this and then he actually edited it and sent it across to me. And this was edited with his preset called Cine, which you can find in his V2 pack. And we actually sell a pack of presets together. So if you want to get those, I'll link them down in our description because they come with walkthrough tutorials and an extra Lightroom course to teach you all about Lightroom. Plus obviously the presets themselves and 50 of our raw images for you to practice your editing with. So that is all linked down below. So anyway, once you have your photo, I'm just going to come and grab it here. And it doesn't really matter. Just get the center point somewhere here. Command J, make it a new layer, as you can see here. Command T, your transform tool, right click, flip horizontal, and just drag it across. But obviously we're not done yet, we're not gonna leave it like this. We're gonna click mask, and then B, our brush tool, which basically now is going to act as our eraser. So we're just gonna brush around here, and we could just like very carefully sort of go like this way around it all and do whatever. But instead what we can do is, is get our pen tool, I'm gonna click P, and I'm gonna start it here. And because it's like just one line, it's really easy to be able to do this. Grab around the corner here. There's a, I'm so sorry, I'm in a hotel right now and there's a vacuum cleaner outside. And you know what? They started vacuuming as soon as I pressed record. Like, honestly, just my luck. So I'm really sorry about that. Oh, now they stopped, maybe they heard me. Right click, make selection. We're gonna do like a, maybe a two pixel feather radius and then go into our brush tool and you can literally just brush all that back in. And then because one side of our image is a bit darker, we can come here and then select a curve and then click this button, which means it's only going to affect this layer. And then because this is a mask itself, I can get rid of it on this side here and we can just balance it out. And there we go. Sick edits! And here are the iPhone pictures up here, and it's just amazing to see out of an iPhone how much dynamic range and detail you can still retain out of a raw image. On a phone, like something you make phone calls on, and this is like literally competing with most entry-level cameras at this point. If not, probably better because of just how good iPhone does its HDRing, how well it does its stabilization now with video and everything like that, being able to select between three different cameras, Honestly, like if you're actually looking for a, a first camera, you're actually probably better off getting an iPhone, a brand new iPhone, because it's also not only a phone and does all those basic functions, it also is, like I said, pretty much an entry level camera. So something to consider as well. That is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If I did teach you something new, maybe you can leave a like down below or maybe you just had a good fucking time so you can leave a like anyway. Or help me out by hitting subscribe. With that all said and done, have a shit one, and I will see you in the next one.